Hey guys, look at this. I've got a hundred feet of poly rope, a bunch of dirt where we're doing some backfill. And over here, I put a fitting on so that I could uh, pull pipes. So I'm going to have DC power, AC power, and PEX pipes, two of them, two different pipes, half inch and three quarter, going through a three inch pipe. So I have three inch pipe running 95 feet because you buy the pipe in 100 foot lengths, right? And it runs 95 feet. How do I get my pipes through there? Because I've had to put in three fittings, 345s, because of uh, different obstacles in the yard. Okay, so what I got here is I have a platform that has been built for IVC intermediate bulk containers, brand new ones, by the way, um, that are going to go in here and they're going to catch rainwater. So this thing here is pretty good size, pretty decent size. And this is the wet room. So above us is tons of roof line, tons of roof line above us. And of course, Kara over here. So, <laughs> um, so what we have is we have 1700 square feet of roof line. And that gives us, with 31 to 32 inches of rain a year, a significant amount of water. Well, this right here with four of those is, is only going to be about 1,100 gallons. Our main storage tanks is 4,600 gallons. And then we have another 12 or 1,250. Yes? Yeah. 1250 in the back that catches the other half of the building and another pair of 275 tanks that are going to be catching the um, the north side of the building. So we've got them all piped and there's pipes um, already down in here in the ground and it comes from that one. Same technique but with two inch pipe because it only has a half inch pipe and a sending wire. Now the DC wire that goes in here is just a sending wire. So people are like well, you just hook a vacuum. I've got a video. Go right up here. Boom. There's a video of me using a shop vac to pull, you know, a leader rope, a tug rope. See that? Quarter poly. Uh, through a line that is about, what was that one? 140 feet or something? Yeah. Um, with a shop vac. But I've got so much content going in this one over here. So let's run over here right quick. It runs a long ways, guys. Pardon all the mess. There's where the gas line for the main big propane tank that's going to be coming back in. So it runs around here, runs right in front of the shop. I had to do that because of wind turbine towers and stuff. So runs and runs and runs, and it comes out, and there's your three-inch pipe. Now, there's going to be, once that comes out, we're going to de determine how much more pipe to add, but it goes to this frame network. So what this is, is a frame network, see? And then this is a frame for a uh, carport. It is a was a 12 by 27, and now it's a 12 by 19. And so it's uh, been shortened to make it stronger. This is one of the work, one of the jobs that Kara was involved in. So we're gonna be raising this up and setting it up here on that mark all the way around, all right? And then we have two tanks that fit in here. So we have one of them, let me go over here, that's already here, and then we have a smaller tank. So we have a uh, 2,700 gallon. So this one here is a 2,700 gallon, and it's a big one. Um, so this one here will be put in and it's the main purified tank. So we have, you're going to see in the previous couple of videos, look back on my channel, where we have put in um, a, a filtration system. And I'll show you all that right quick. So there's some more tanks right there being washed out. Now, the only thing that was on, in those was fractionated coconut oil. Totally safe. It's non-toxic. And one trip only. So they showed up at the place, food processing place, and we picked them up for practically nothing. Now, over here is what we have here. This is the build, and it uses a no hub right here so that this can be taken loose if I have to do anything in here. And trust me, that no hub with that structure is how you want to go. It holds very tight, it's sanitary, it's non-toxic. Then we have a two inch pipe 
reduces to an uh, inch and a half right there, reduces to one inch, and then goes through these two filters. And right now, the tank is empty. But as far as rainwater is concerned, uh, so I'm sorry, this one here is 1,075. So as far as rainwater is concerned, 1,200, I'm sorry, is the other one. It is quite full. And down here is where all the control valves go. And this is a barrel, and it's been epoxied to the tank right down there. So this is Kira's little build, right? Yep. So the rain comes down, hits that one. There's another gutter that hits in there. So there's two on a flat roof. It hits this gutter. It's capped on both ends. There's a hole in the middle. And there is a stainless steel pot with three sets of screens in it going all the way to 80 mesh from, what is it, 10, 10, 20, 40, and then 80. Goes into this tank, comes through here, goes through another 80, and then through a 200. So that's uh, basically 70 micron and drops it in here. And then in here, on the other side over there, is a um, bleach, I guess you call it like a chlorine emitter. Chlorine emitter. Let's get over here right quick. All right, so back where I'm at here, I've taken the, the string, rope, poly rope, and laid it out in kind of a long loop because when this thing takes off, it's going to take off. I'm going to let Kira hold this phone, and I'm going to show you the steps. Okay? So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie that poly to a shopping bags. There's two of them right there, the cheap little shopping bags. Walmart, whatever, tie it well, and then I'm going to take it just like this, make shape it like a little bullet. I'm going to put it in here and get it past that 90. And then I'm going to use my famous Portland. So you see this? How about that? <laughs> this thing really blows. Okay. And you're going to watch that string. This is going to be loud, and I'll turn the volume down for that. This goes in that three inch pipe and you'll see there's a gap. See that gap? Let me get on the top there. See that gap right there? It'll allow that string to go. All right. Should be on the other end. Let's go check. All right, so we got Miss Kara over here, yep, and there is 95 feet away our grocery sacks. Isn't that kind of cool? All right, so that little blower, pretty cheap. Now we have over here we have electrical and we have camera lines. So there's a whole bunch of uh, Cat Six in these for camera lines that go over to the building and one cat six for operation of the pumps and uh, runs off my uh, little Android tablet. All right, guys, sometimes you got a pipe. Sometimes you got to put something underground. Not too bad. Sometimes you got to just blow things up or blow things out. Or in this case, no strings, see? No strings attached. Sometimes you just have to blow things down. You're not going to do this with blow a... Blow things through a pipe. Blow things through a pipe. You're not going to do this with anything less than a good quality little blower. All right. You guys be good. Jared, what do you think about your job? I think it's going to be very long, hard, and exhausting, but worth it in the end. The digging part was the hard part. Yeah. All right. I think we're over the hard part. You guys be good. Hey, look. There's the trailer. <laughs> Still here.